The most well-known of all the Garcia licensing endeavors uh, is definitely the, the ties. Every hippie I know has several of them because whenever they have to wear a tie, at least they are wearing a, a Jerry Garcia tie. A lot of deadheads like to give them as gifts to people in their families and so on and so forth. There are a lot of these things that got sold over the years. The uh, department stores that sold them, if they sold enough of them, they would get something like this. I've seen a number of other versions of this tie collection and generally they're about half this size. They all have ties laid out, they all have a real Garcia signature, hand signed, and they all have these beautiful little plaques on them that tell you which collection and which edition, so on and so forth. But these were given as gifts of appreciation to the stores that sold a lot of ties. I think if you sold a million dollars worth of ties or something, you got one of these. But this is the only one that I have ever seen that was this size. This is sort of the, the giant version of the tie collection presentation piece. And uh, certainly looks good on the wall. The ties were always made from really high quality silk and there was a lot of oversight to make sure that everything was done just exactly perfect. And the fact that Nora still had it and the well-known Nora Sage golden frame means that it was property of Nora Sage and also likely property of Jerry Garcia at, at some point. Oh, shake it, oh, shake that, shake